Hey guys, and I found a mesa biome I've been exploring, and I've actually been exploring for a very, very long time. As you can see by the coordinates, I'm at negative 13,000, and it's taken me just about an hour just to get here by boat. And I've also found a savanna biome, and a um, mega taiga, and what else? I found a, an ice bike also, and uh, I've actually recorded all of it. But for some reason, my fraps was being completely retarded and didn't even record one bit of any of it. So I'm like really kind of mad right now and um, still kind of shaking from both not being able to record this, all this, and also finding all these awesome biomes. So uh, basically, I'm just gonna get all the stuff I want for now here and I'm going to. Um, place a portal down one two three four all right actually yeah I'm gonna place a portal down and uh, place another one down in the nether to, to the ice bike biome and yeah I'm going to just set up the portal networking like always for everything and I forgot I need to get flint and steel so I have to get steel uh, flint somehow um, but yeah, let's just explore this. I want to show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys the ice spikes next episode. And the reason I completely forgot because I was doing so many recordings. Um, I got the I got these two uh, pickaxes and I also got a new bow because I was uh, doing a lot more enchanting and stuff after we lost everything from the um, from the Ender Dragon. So yeah, uh, that that's how I got this stuff. And I don't know. I just it's hard to explain to you guys what happened because I just lost all my recording and uh, it's really tough what, what's this hardened clay just normal alright so I'm just gonna get some of this clay I'm gonna do the networking the portal networking to the ice spike biome and to everything I'll go back home and then we can start on the enderman farm alright guys I feel it's time to go to the end now so actually let's just get rid of this bow because we do not need that we will not be able to kill any enderman with that with that if needed so I believe we have everything we're going to make a um, golem fence in the end I'll or golem uh, snow farm small snow farm I'll just bring the axe with me just in case um, and everything else lo seems fine uh, I don't want to bring anything expensive so I'm just gonna bring this stuff we're not gonna need much um, much things to mine with so um, that's why I'm only bringing this pickaxe so yeah, I'm going to head out, and as soon as I get to the end, I'll meet you guys back. Alright guys, so I just finished this snow farm. It's going to be really simple to do, just basically get as much snow as we want, and I also got some stuff from a tree, and I stupidly forgot a few things, but no big deal, I just went back to the house, and I already broke my pick. Um, as you guys can see from doing all this we're just gonna set our ender chest down here should be able to stay alive good everything's in there and I didn't need to get a water bucket I forgot about that but let's see let's see if we can place a chest down here and I also got some end stone just cover that up we'll just put this stuff in here for now Right now for this we're going to go out here. We're just gonna place some lava down. Gonna let it flow. Let it get all the way down there. Actually we gotta let it flow till it gets all the way down, I believe. And then we're gonna put water on top of that so we can make some a nice space to get down to. Alright, should be good. And that should make nice cobble generator down there, like so. All right, so we're gonna let that do that. Uh, put some stuff we don't need away. Let's see, we, we can use that. We'll use some end stone. Uh, I wish I could get more end stone, but we'll just uh, we'll just use snow. We'll just put the end stone away. We don't need lava anymore. We'll just take that to collect the water. 
We'll get another water bucket. We'll just get two pistons to start off with. The buttons, vines, soul sand. We'll do the hoppers and that stuff later. But we'll get this stuff. And then fill our inventory up with that. Alright, cool. Let's just leave some snow. And there. Alright, so... We should be good. Actually, I'm gonna go down here. Place our blocks. We gotta be really careful with this. We'll just place our block a little higher so we don't have to worry about falling right into the void. And then we'll, I'm gonna go back up, get our uh, water source, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go out that way with um, two stacks exactly of blocks. So that should be 128 blocks out. Alright, so now that you got this, you will want to place torch every about six blocks to keep uh, Enderman from spawning. And uh, just be careful if you're using snow like I am, because it does easily break. So make sure you don't have your, uh, your shovel close to you. So yeah, I'm going to just build out. This is going to be a 20 by 20 area. And I'm actually going to make this three by, th or yeah, three wide. And then going all the way to the uh, all the way to the base, but you just want to make your little spot like this. Um, I'm gonna do mine 20 wide, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna go five here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How about we actually make it even so it looks better? So we got ten on that side. Let's just have ten on this side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So twenty one's good. Twenty one wide's good. Doesn't really matter the width. But we are going to have the spawning pad sixteen in width. So let's just see how we're gonna have this. This side has to be even. So one, two, three. Then let's have this these blocks be our spawn pads. So we'll just mark it like that, and then another three, one, two, three. Same on the other side, I'll complete this and I'll be back. Alright, so now I'm finished. You can add a little bit more on the sides if you want, if you do not want to either fall off accidentally, um, or just if you do fall from the top, your items will be saved on the pad. But I'm just going to do it like this and keep it small for uh, time's sake. And also, um, I changed this from 16 to uh, 15 just so it works. So you should have three on each side like that. And we are actually going to extend this out one more. So we're just going to place a block there and go like that for the walls. Not too important. And we're also going to have the pad up like that. Now this is so I can do some more improvements to it. I will have, I need to get sticky pistons instead of normal pistons right now. But I want to have uh, pistons connected like this, and then just a pad under here. I'll probably change this to glowstone, but it doesn't matter right now. Um, just like that. So yeah, I'm going to have sticky pistons, and then they will actually be out here. And they'll normally be extended. Oops. So they will pull away, where's another soul sand? So they'll pull away when I want them to be in kill mode and uh, I will have them, the soul sand here when I want it to be in XP mode. Uh, I'll hardly ever use kill mode because uh, when I do XP mode, uh, I'll get a lot of ender pearls and won't really ever need any more. So yeah, it's just how I'm thinking about it for now. So on to the next part, we're going to actually start building up. Okay, so now for the fall damage, a for one hit kill, a Enderman t uh, will have to take a 43 fall damage. So we're gonna just put 43 blocks into our hot bar, and that's how we're gonna count up. You may want to use ladders for this, but I will just use water for now, and I will have to get a water source block down there very soon so yeah just go up all the way and you'll be fine and dandy 
Okay, so once you got 43 blocks up, you are just going to find where your landing pad is, and you are going to just make an outline, kind of like where those uh, slabs are, and you're going to go out, I did 15, so that's what you're going to do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Alright, so you're going to do this, and then you're going to go up two more blocks, so it's basically three high. But first, on this bottom part here of the little frame, we're going to put our buttons. And this is going to stop the vines from growing. Very simple. We don't want our vines just creeping down all the way to our landing pad. That would not be very good because they would not take any damage alright so after that you're just gonna like I said build up two more blocks and on the top one is where you're gonna put your vines so basically like this I believe I have enough to let them or to not let them grow but if you do not have enough vines you can just basically simply let them grow alright so now what you're going to be doing is on top of the vines you're going to place your first pistons, and I actually have them on already, just like this in a row. So we're going to go across. This should take up about 30, or actually I believe 28. I'm not sure. We'll see how it comes out. So about 28 or 30, oh, that's too much, per um, level. So not very expensive. If you have a iron farm like me, then you could easily, easily do this. I recommend checking out my... Uh, let's plays that I've done if you haven't already on a nice iron farm Alright, so next what you're going to do is you're gonna go out one block like this gonna go up three and You're going to get your tripwire hooks Place one there and this is very nice for building because unless you jump you won't trigger yourself so we're also gonna have to block up here and Let's see you're gonna go out like that and then just place blocks on top of the pistons right and then on the other side you'll do the same thing one two three like that and then you'll place your tripwire hook now time to get out the redstone I might have to go down and get more but basically you're just gonna simply do this and all you gotta do now is place your string I'm just gonna get rid of these extra pieces of snow just to keep it looking nice always good to keep your stuff looking nice alright cool so that should be it I'm going to just finish off on this side I'll do more layers I wish I could do a time lapse this would be really perfect for doing a time lapse but I do not have a another computer I could do this on I hopefully will be getting a laptop for Christmas unless I pay for one myself so hopefully we can do that so I can have two people or yeah two different computers recording at time so I can uh, at a time so I can do awesome time lapses for you so I gotta go down get some more supplies and wow there's a lot of intermen down there already so I will be back when I have a few more layers done okay guys so I have I believe five levels now one two three four oh actually four I did less than I thought well this is very time consuming and it takes a lot of work but actually not that many resources if you think about it so let's just I can drop down there oh that was close on all right let's just get rid of this stuff um, I'm gonna do more work on it later I think this is good enough for this episode and let's see and I'm just gonna climb down here I'm gonna make a ladder later on when I have more time um, I've also been playing a lot in this world doing a lot of mine carts in the nether because of the new biomes that we have found and oh my gosh I'm still so sorry about losing all that footage um probably about a t just a ton of footage and it's very sad that it happened and I had it on peaceful so let's turn it back on normal I was working on this little bridge here so I didn't want to and they're yeah they're gonna be spawning a lot they're not gonna be spawning much in the spawner but more here but as you can see they're always starting to come um, and I forgot to uh, actually put a, a roof on so let's do that no nope, I don't wanna look at you let's put a roof on so they can't 
get out. And hopefully they don't, one of their faces doesn't go right into my view. This is very dangerous work, especially with the Void and all these Endermen. And it's kind of sad because I can't light up my little path to get here because of it, it being ice. So I may switch it to packed ice soon. Not sure when. But uh, as you guys can see, there's already so many uh, different Endermen spawning. Alright, we got to do this side still. Hopefully we can push him out of the way. Nope. Not happening. Totally not happening. Alright. Ah, oh, there's so many of them. Let's just see if we can kill them all. The other ones won't bother us unless we look at, look at them. They won't aggro. They're not like pigmen. But as you can see, they're one hit kill. I can probably get them... Yeah, I can get them with a block. I don't want to try my fist. But as you guys can see, it's working very, very well right now. I've already got 13 ender pearls just from trying to fix this roof. So yeah, what we're the last step for this is going to be to finish off the roof. Probably put glass on here and then we're also going to need to cover this whole area in water. So let's get this water. Finally, we have a lot of ender pearls. Alright, let's get up here. gonna finish this roof I believe we have enough snow to do so um, we'll also have to put water over by our path but we can do that off camera not much else to say about that we might need some more snow whoa it just got pretty laggy I have to say these new updates since 1.6 came out, Minecraft has gotten so much better. It's improved so much. I'm so glad that it's going in the right direction. Um, and they're actually making the game better instead of what I feared. That it would actually make the game too too far from the original version. Um, that's what I feared, that they were going to venture off too far and make it. Oh, we won't have enough. Alright. Um, what the hell, we can still place... Uh, we could still place the water. So basically what you want to do is just put the water. I'm going to put them on the corners for now. But you want to do this so that um, nothing will spawn on top. And since uh, Enderman get hurt in water, they will teleport away instead of coming in here to kill you. So let's actually just do this with our fists. As you can see, this works very well. We already have 10 levels of XP. And there's only 5 levels, guys. Remember, you can build up to the Sky Barrier. We're about at level 64 of Y. So, yeah. I'm going to work on my hoppers off camera. We're just going to do that. We won't really do a kill system. I changed my mind. Let's just save up on some pistons. Why not? And I'm going to go get some more materials. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something and you... We'll hopefully uh, use this in your world. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.